What's up guys, it's been a while since I've talked about Dot, but in this video we're going to be going over briefly what Polkadot is and also some up and coming news on the platform and what's been happening. And we're also going to be talking about Gavin Wood's take on the future of Dot and also a few concerns I have. And also we're of, of course going to mention how to receive a delicious 12% APY. And of course this is not financial advice and just a video for entertainment purposes. And also if you're interested in more of this content, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. Polkadot is big when it comes to interlopability. It's an open source shorted multi-chain protocol that connects and secures a network of specialized blockchains, facilitating cross-chain transfer of any data or asset types, not just tokens, thereby allowing blockchains to be able to connect with each other. Polkadot was designed to provide a foundation for a decentralized internet of blockchains, also known as Web3. And also, if you want to earn around a 12% APY on a stablecoin asset like USDC, make sure to check out my website. Yes, I created a website, safestakingguide.com, which I'm going to link in the description down below. And pretty much this website, you can find out the best rates that you can receive for staking and lending any digital asset, as well as also a compounding interest calculator, which we're going to go over here in a bit when we're going to be showing you know how much you could actually be earning with Polkadot in the future. So let's just get started in this video and get started on some of the news that's been happening with Dot, a little bit of the price action, and then also a little bit of a price comparison and, and a possible price prediction. And we're also going to be using my compound interest calculator that's on my website. It's so cool to announce that actually I've been working on this for a long time now, and I'm just super happy to actually have my website out. Essentially, you can find out, you know, really the best places to stake, you know, your assets that you're interested in. And also when you sign up with my links, you can be receiving special bonuses when you do. So I think it's a win-win in a lot of situations. There's no ads or anything like that on the website. And also I'm planning on doing a lot of reviews for various different platforms. I already have one for Hodlnod. I'm planning on creating one for my constant and various others. So it's a lot of work to do right now to get it set up, but I'm extremely excited about it. And I've been just trying to slowly build it now for, you know, about a month now I've actually been building this. And, you know, it's my first time creating a website like this. I've created websites before that are with like, you know, easy templates and things like that but I have not been able to just all of a sudden create a website from scratch which this is so anyways right now let's get into some of the news that's been happening with uh, Polkadot and also this is the homepage. here you can see my channel it's linked it's all me anyways uh, let's get started so Polkadot chief Gavin Wood announces blockchain governance upgrade the platform's gov2 is set to launch on Kusama which as some of you guys know, Kusama is pretty much the sister net of, po of Polkadot. It's pretty much an experimental uh, side of Polkadot. Imminently following a final uh, professional audit of its code, he said. Now, this was actually posted fairly recently. Polkadot has upgraded its decision-making process to be more inclusive and decentralized while dramatically increasing the number of proposals that can be voted on. The blockchain ecosystem's founder, Gavin Wood, announced at the annual community gathering Polkadot Decoded. Gulf2 is set to launch on Kusama, Polkadot's more nimble and experimental sister network, imminently, according to the blog post, following a final professional audit of its code. Once Gulf2 is tested on Kusama, a proposal will be made for Polkadot's network to vote on and would add it without stating how long the process would actually take. So it looks like Polkadot is still extremely active and there's a lot of things going on with Polkadot. Here's another one. Chainlink price feeds are live on Polkadot based on Moonbeam. Now, if you guys don't know, I made a video talking about Moonbeam uh, two months ago, actually. I'm quite bullish on it. You should check out that video. Uh, Moonbeam is a major destination for multi-chain applications on Polkadot, has integrated Chainlink price feeds into its smart contract platform. Moonbeam serves as a smart contract platform and is able to natively interoperate with the relay chain, the term for Polkadot's main blockchain, as well as other independent blockchains called parachains that run on the Polkadot network. The availability of Chainlink's price feeds help enable builders to reliably source aggregated price information from many exchanges, helping ensure price accuracy. With the integration, developers can build even more sophisticated decentralized applications or dApps to launch on the Moonbeam network. So this is another big thing. You can see that there's still a lot of coordination with Polkadot and of course Moonbeam. Price feeds complete a critical component of Moonbeam's developer infrastructure. And that's something that will lead to the development of the future DeFi products. Nikki Aster Grimes, yeah, global head of partnerships at Chainlink Labs said in a message. 
Moonbeam-based protocols already using Chainlink include Moonwell, Artemis, a collateralizing lending protocol on Moonbeam, which is using Chainlink price feeds to powering lending and borrowing with price data from a wide range of tokens available on the Polkadot ecosystem, including DOT. Moonbeam developers can get started with Chainlink price feeds on Polkadot from today through Moonbeam's developer documentation. Here's another big thing. So it looks like there's a lot of cross integration that's happening as well with Moonbeam. There's a lot of bullish things that's always happening with Dot. And I feel like Dot is kind of this quiet one, right? It's always hanging out amongst the fifth to 20th position when it comes to uh, coins and tokens ranked by market cap, but it's always growing. And I've always been bullish on it. Actually, one of my first few videos on this channel was actually just about Dot. And it's a project I have been extremely bullish on since. And it's honestly just been happening to continue to grow, considering that other projects have come into the space and have, you know, surpassed Polkadot when it comes to market cap, but then have failed like terrors, right? Now, Polkadot seems to be extremely sound. The founder, Gavin Wood, was also a part of, you know, the founder of Ethereum. So, you know, I think that's also an extremely bullish point. Now, Polkadot right now is actually only trading at $6.85 which is really not much considering its all-time high was around, I believe, you know, 40 something dollars. Yeah, fi okay, $53 uh, back actually in November of 2021. Whereas right now, uh, it's only trading at in around $6.85. So it's fallen quite a lot since then. And, you know, if we just take a look in the past year all to date, it's actually fallen back to its almost previous lows uh, back in 2020. So right now it's really not looking good, but it's not looking good for the entire market. Now, I also wanted to use my compounding interest calculator here in a second, and also wanted to compare the price in market cap of DOT right now to if it had the hypothetical price points of other market caps that are above it. Now, DOT right now is actually in the 11th position when it comes to market cap. So if it were to go into the a position of, for example, Dogecoin, that would put it at the potential price of $7. Do I think it's going to get to that price of course i do i definitely think it's going to go to at least its all-time previous high uh, which was you know around 53 dollars and that actually right now would put it in the position of tether which would be at 59 dollars it'd be right in that range you know if we were comparing that and then if it were actually in the same position as ethereum right now that would be a 111 dollars and then if it were in the same position as a bitcoin right now it'd be 326 dollars now i definitely think that dot is going to surpass its previous all-time high when the next bull rally starts up again now Let's take a look at something. Now, I mentioned that you can get a 12% APY when it comes to staking DOT, and I actually recommend using the platform Kraken. Kraken is extremely safe, it's secure. It's one that I recommend. I don't have any affiliate links to sign up or anything like that. It's just something I, I recommend. Their customer service is also on point. They are extremely nice, extremely helpful on the platform. Now, let's use my uh, staking and interest calculator. That's a compounding interest calculator that's on my website link down below. Let's just say that you started with $5,000 and you contributed around, let's just say, you know, $100 or let's just say $50 monthly. So we're going to put on monthly here and then, or actually we're going to say weekly. Let's just say you contributed that weekly. Uh, and then, you know, your expected return rate is 12%. That's what you can actually receive right now um, on the Kraken exchange. And then also, let's just say, you know, that's going to be for five years. So this takes into account if it maintain the specific price point. This calculator is really good when it comes to for, you know, a stable coin asset like USDC or USDT, you know, but it, it's a little bit different. And it's kind of trickier to calculate when, you know, the price of the underlying asset will change in time, right? Dot is not always going to be at six dollars. Who knows? Maybe it's going to fall a bit lower, you know, in the meantime. But of course, I expect it to go up as well. And if the price went up a lot, this number would then dramatically change. But let's just hypothetically say if you put in five thousand dollars right now into dot, which is at an around six dollars right now, it's trading at let's take a look here. It's trading at six dollars and eighty-four cents. Let's see if you put in five thousand dollars to that amount right now. That would be seven hundred and thirty dot the second if you put that in. Now, if you had that and then you also added in fifty dollars weekly and you expected a twelve percent return, 
and this was also you know going to be an investment that's going to be five years what would that amount be well that would actually you know your investment would be twenty six thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars if dot actually remained at the same amount of six dollars right now so that's what it would be uh the total interest earned would actually be close to nine thousand dollars the starting amount here is five thousand and then the total contributions of the weekly amount of fifty dollars would be around thirteen thousand and then that would put the potential inv investment to around twenty six thousand dollars and then of course the actual amount that you would earn would be around nine thousand dollars and that's not even taking into account the price appreciating let me know what you guys have to think about dot in the comment section down below dot is a project i've always been extremely bullish on and also extremely excited about and i still am even with the price being at a low amount of just six dollars i myself right now have been dollar cost averaging in as it's a project that i definitely believe in let me know what you guys have to think in the comment section down below anyways guys i'll see you in the next one